After this, I'm reading from Revelation chapter 4. Lord, we thank you for day 100. It's been a beautiful, beautiful journey. We thank you for you are the one that establishes the thoughts of your children. We thank you, Lord God, for this began as a thought. But today, we are living it. Lord, we bless your name. Revelation chapter 4 from verse 1. After this I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like, as it were of a trumpet talking with me, would say it, Come up here and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, the throne was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a satin stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thundering and voices. And there were seven lambs of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts, full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle, and the four beasts had eyes of them, six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and the rest not day and night, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are our Creator. Lord, we declare You are holy. We join the twenty-four elders and say You are holy. We 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 say you are holy.
You are the God of dominion. You are the God of might and power. King of kings and Lord of lords, we magnify your name. We, your children, are gathered here today. In the sweet atmosphere, we declare, you are God. We declare you are God. We declare you are God. Jesus, Jesus, God's love. 
prisoners praying and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. Give me an earthquake, oh brother. set us loose so that we can bring salvation to the land of our enemies. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling. Your enemy is trembling right now in Jesus' name. And fell down before Paul and Silas. Ah, everything that represents enmity to your life has fallen down before you today because they are seeing Jesus right now. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Jesus, name of Jesus, God's love to me. Sing, Jesus.
name in hell. Jesus. What is the most powerful name in trouble? Jesus. What is the most powerful name in time of triumph? Jesus. What is the name that defeated death? Jesus. What is the name of him that defeated the grave? Jesus. What is the name of him that died and rose again? Jesus. What is the name of the only man that ascended? So he's saying, get ready, preparation. Prepare for the explosion that is coming in that same place of dryness. Yeah? Listen, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Don't say, okay, I'm just going to. Go wider than your wildest imagination. That is what God is saying. Before the children of Israel left the land of Egypt, nobody in this world ever knew that food could fall from heaven. And the food was so much that they couldn't finish it. Before Jesus Christ took the people to the wilderness to speak to them, nobody knew that five loaves, three, is it five, five, three fishes, 
could feed 3,000, only the men, and have an excess. God is not limited by what is seen because he dwells in the unseen realm. So when God says fear not, it means fear not. If it is big and you can contain it, it is already too small for God. Say to yourself, I enlarge the place of my tent. He said, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left hand. He said, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left hand. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. The first time I was studying this thing, he said, you shall break forth on the right hand. That is spiritual things. Those are the spiritual things, you know. In the end, he said, the right side will lead to heaven. The left leads to hell. And as I was reading that, what I saw, so you will break forth in spiritual things, in godly things. In the left hand, you will break forth even in so-called carnal things. So you will break forth in heavenly things. That means you grow in wisdom, you grow in knowledge, you grow in understanding. The word of God will be made plain to you. God will speak to you in the night time. You will read the word, you will read A, and you will hear the end of the earth. On the left hand, that is the circular things. When you go to your office, when things are struck and they don't know what to you, you appear there, you tell them the answer. You will be like that and I say, give me seven days, I'll come back and give you the answer. So when your boss, when they are struck and they don't know what to do, they will send for you. They are on the hundredth floor. So go and call Ketime for me. But sir, she does not call it. What do you mean? Call her. You'll be passing by. They will say a word. And you'll hear a business idea. That's the left side. Father. Jesus. 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 God's love to me. inherit the Gentiles. I am sorry for those people that are not children of God because everything they are gathering, they are gathering for you and me too. I put myself there too. Did you hear me? I am sorry for those people that refuse to take Christ because everything they are gathering, they are gathering for you. So thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Yo, it means when dry dryness, when you get there, they say this place is dead. They say Hebrew is dead. You start a business. Absa, FMB, Barclays, they start buying properties there. Why? Because light has entered into the place. So that is the power we carry on. Say, so fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. I shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood, widowhood anymore. For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord has called thee as a woman, forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou was refused, saith the Lord. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little rod, I hid my face from thee for a woman, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord the Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto thee. For as I have sworn, that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth. So I have I sworn that I will not be wrought with thee, nor the book thee. So stop condemning yourself. Come on. There is nothing you can ever do that can beat what Jesus did. Amen. That thing, that condemnation, that is from the devil. Yes, there is hunger to please God, to do what God wants you to be. But 
you are not supposed to do it by yourself. Said as many as those that accept him, he gave them the power. There is empowerment to be. Father, for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord that had mercy on you. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fear columns, and lay thy foundations with sapphire, and I will make thy widows of agate, windows of agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all your children shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness shall thou be established. You shall be far from oppression and you shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee in Jesus' name. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake in Jesus' name. Behold, I have created the smith and blow it, the coals of the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of the of the Lord. The ones love to be Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus, Jesus.
We're gonna do something now. We've got about four minutes to go. There was something that God told Joshua for the children of Israel. There is a reason why I asked my brother to come here today. Hallelujah. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of Ram's horn passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpet and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. The ark of the covenant represents the presence of God and I believe that as we've been worshipping, the presence of God is here. But we need to activate the presence to do something. It's one thing for power to be available. If you don't put on the switch, nothing happens. We are about to turn on the switch. Machine that and the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priest that blew with the trumpet. And the railroad came after the ark. The priest going on and blowing with the trumpet. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth. I'm jumping to 16. And it came to pass at the seventh time. When the priest blew with the trumpet, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house. I say, and it came to pass at the seventh time. When the priest blew the trumpet, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord had given you the city. In the next one minute, the music is still going to keep playing. I want you to focus on something that you want God to do. In the scripture that we read before, he said, Whatever tongue that rises against you, you shall rebook. God cannot move until we speak. The power is available, we have to use it. Grace is available, but it has to be appropriated. It's a key. Faith does not please God. You know, faith pleases God, yes. But it's the word that moves God. I want you to focus on something now. And after that, we're going to blow our horn and at the same time we're going to shout the music is going to keep playing so you can speak to God say something to God take something before God this night this night take something
we are supposed to go out now to revive those uppermost nations. Yes. Oh my goodness. The healing anointing in these ministers. Even me, my goodness. We've got something to say to the world. You've got something to give to the world. You've got something to give. And the scripture comes true tonight. Out of your innermost being flows rivers of living waters. Don't doubt yourself. Don't look down on yourself. You are everything God says you are. And you will have everything he said you will have. Do you hear the scripture in the book of Isaiah? He said that these are like the waters of Noah to me. The Lord has sown by himself. May the power of God be a testimony over your life. May you experience an ending stream of miracles from this time forth and even forevermore. God bless you. God bless this great ministry. Go on and take on the world. And even I of age, we are behind you. And all the ministers here, we are behind you with full force. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Good night. Thank you, sir. And to the Father of the house where we are, Omega Fire Ministries. Father, we thank you. Mo Shakila Harabaho Dosia Kataba. Libron Zotori Kadi Brahan Talirondo Siatabata. Libron Doshi Krute Teli Brahan Katalian Dosma. Milo Rosia Katalibron de Shoto Tori Bara Akatelia. Libron Shakrindo Bariatsa Tora Tibalati. Mon Shari Katabariando do Shakri de Bodoboshata. Lord, you said it in your word. Behold, I will do a new thing. And it shall spring for shall you not know it. Father, we thank you because this hundred days of worship has not just come to an end, but has changed a destiny. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Someone's destiny has been transformed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. You did not just come here just to be entertained. You have come here to be transformed. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. I pray for the organizers. Mr. I the Lord rest upon you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. For all your ministers, this will be the least you will be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere your voice has not been heard, by reason of this hundred years worship, your voice will transcend to those nations. In the name of Jesus. He said, Who art thou great mountain before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, and the headstone shall be taken out of it, shouting, Grace, grace unto it. After now, the mountains become a plain before you. In the in the mighty name of Jesus, and for everyone that came here to worship tonight, and those hearing or worship online, the Lord said I should tell somebody that your story has changed for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus, because the Bible made me understand that in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. You are returning with joy. You are returning with joy. You are returning with joy. In the name of Jesus. Why the worship was still going on, I was praying to the Holy Ghost at the back. And I had it in my spirit. He said, someone's tears has been wiped away. Whether you are here or online, someone's tears has been wiped away. Do we weep no more? Do we weep no more? In the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord will rest upon everyone in this house. Because the Bible said, arise and shine for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. No more will you be covered. No more will you be covered. No more will you be covered. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you one more time, Minister Ayo. That in this nation of South Africa, hiding under the grace that we enjoy in this ministry, you will not be covered. If on me, you will not be covered. All the ministers that came with you will not be covered. Amen. Minister Steve, you will not be covered. 
in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever fights every career in this nation, your career is exempted. Your ministry is exempted. In the name of Jesus. He said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. He said hearts are more serious have no help. When the anointing for kingship was in the house, David was in the bush. But the anointing waited for him. It doesn't matter who has not heard about you. But the right ears are about to hear you. The right man are about to speak about you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. For better is the hand of a team than the beginning thereof. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let everyone shout in loud. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. See you on the next one. Wait a 
Jesus. 